Yeah, I think that's that's us recording and all. So, uh, nice. <laughs> right, we want to say it was on a head homer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 we were talking about uh, like so, like what way would you? We're talking about writing processes there. Well, they were. I sort of just jumped in the middle of it here. Yeah. Um. So what? Uh. What your be your writing process be like for? Mine's basically just thing happens i continue to think about thing and write it down and hopefully remember <laughs> you know, i sort of add things on it as we were just saying there like something will happen during the day or i'll think of something funny or like remember something funny that happened and then i'll just write that phrase down fuck around with it for a while and then like some it's weird i don't really have a process sometimes i'll have a whole bit written as i'm thinking about it you know what i mean oh, and then yeah. i'll just stick it down it's weird yeah. See, that's why i write on stage that's why it gives that sounds i like to just be Do, like, yeah yeah i like uh I think it was like Andrew Ryan or something like told me about it. And he's I went, great at yeah, doing yeah. that. Like he's I, really, really good. I like just literally went on stage one night without a set, just like topic points in my head. Oh, Jesus. Went, Let me see where this goes. And it went all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually, not like back in the sunflower, but like, <laughs> 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 no, yeah. no, man, I literally have to do is walk around talking to myself out loud. Really? And then like stuff that I don't even know where it even comes from just like start. So I have to. I moved out to the garage, not to live, but I write out in my garage, oh, yeah, you in my family's home, because <laughs> it feels like far enough away yeah. <laughs> that you can like just be weird as shit. Yeah, you're separated. Yeah, Whereas so. if you're in the house, you're even if you think you're like free balling, like what you're saying, you're yeah. still holding back a wee bit because exactly. your ma's like up at the door being like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> the ramblings of a fucking insane yeah. patient. Yeah. yeah. That's the most schizophrenic wank I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> 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 anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the User Active Podcast with me, your host, Justin Freeburn, my uh, part-time co-host, Soupy Stephen Campbell, and uh, our guest this evening is the wonderful, as I call them, the eighth wonder of the world, Mr. James McKegney. Uh, uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> IRA noises, so yeah, um, yeah. Th- this uh, this podcast is, uh, this is bound to get weird. Why <laughs> so, oh, yeah. you get the nickname Soup? Surname's Campbell. Campbell's Soup. Oh, all right, okay, <laughs> cool. But it's weird because I had somebody said to me one time. It's weird he gets the nickname Chemist. McKegney's oh. Chemist. Sorry, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want to restart this here? <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> but no, I, I, man, I have people said to me, I know there's a, um, someone pissed for a man called Soupy Campbell as well, but he's like three years older than me. Like People are like, are you named after Soupy Campbell? I was like, no. You know what I mean? Like He's like three years older than me. He lives in the white, where the fuck are you from? They just high hopes something. for him at no age. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like, like... He was born, they were like, listen, I people are going to be named after <laughs> you. Yeah, he's like, should we fat cotton in a few years coming in? <laughs> What's the best nickname you ever heard? Ah, fuck. I actually went through a Twitter thread there recently of just like, you know, hilarious like Irish nicknames or whatever. There was a guy called, uh, he was, someone bumped into him at the time one time and he'd, He's bad four pairs of jeans and the nickname of the spider. <laughs> oh, that's deadly. <laughs> Craig, I just thought someone... I, were... love, I love the thought process, man. Oh, <laughs> the, the, the fun no, no, like, who, who thinks that? Um, there was one... Uh, like, I, I only see, like, TikToks of people's ones, but yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, there's ones of uh, people who actually live in Craig Alvin. Uh, a guy, as far as I'm aware, his nickname was Rhino. Right. Because uh, he was getting chased by the cops and he ran clean through a fence and kept going. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool nickname. Yeah. I know a guy in my school, like this isn't like, there's no real thought into this and it's genius because there's no thought into it. But he had to like, back in school, get like, do you want you have to get like a camera up your ass sometimes? Yeah. Like, he had to get that. That's what I call it. Just shoes there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like, in I love you said sometimes. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, like every two it's weeks or something. That sometimes. <laughs> and uh, so he was just called camera hole for ages, man. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> that, is, that is genius. Like <laughs> there was a guy uh, in our school um, who one of like the lo- the school bullies. We were all walking out like to lunch somewhere out in the main road, and there was this big massive puddle, and uh, one of the bullies like pu- pursed him into the like into the puddle, and he fell into it and slid across it. And like was drenched and soaking, and he got nicknamed Dry Ice for like fucking four years. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Right? I was like, Dry Ice is the fucking That's hardest rock like, name ever. Like, just, yeah, he just killed somebody. <laughs> I know there but was Dry a... Ice. It didn't relate to it in any way. Everyone just went, ah, fucking Dry Ice. <laughs> I think it's because before the guy like uh, person goes, watch out for that Dry Ice. <laughs> you yeah. know, like, that Dry Ice. He went, I know, boy, and he just fucked him in it anyway. That's deadly. Yeah, I know a guy. You, I'll just say his name. Fuck it. But uh, he was called John Kelly. And uh, he, uh, I think he like hooked up with a guy back in school. So back then, that was like, whoa. Yeah, it was like, and instantly game. everyone just started calling him Elton John Kelly. And I was like, <laughs> that's so good. Like, within like a second of hearing about it. 
oh, it's fucking crap. I have heard I've, one one time where this boy, every time he got the ball in GAA, he would like look over both his shoulders, so everyone just called him wing mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that's, like, that's, that's a good tactic. Oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. But it, it was, was weird because the nickname, it wasn't like, you know, you're talking to him in school or whatever, it's like, oh, wing mirrors. It was like whenever you were taking the piss out of me, you'd call him wing mirrors. He wasn't yeah. like dubbed wing mirrors all the time. It was weird. Like, yeah, <laughs> there was a guy, uh, I don't know if, if he knows this is his nickname but we called him it for eight years um, basically it was the same as the Arm Butler story which is kind of annoying but it was uh, he went out his man was like go and get bread and milk here's uh, money and uh, he went to the shop and bought a load of mince pies yes. and sat in the curb outside the shop and had the mince pies and Kate didn't go home that night and everyone called him Mincer for their life. That's <laughs> I still don't know his real name, but I see him. Like, he works in, like, fucking in Rushmere or something. Like we had, like, a, my cousin, we had a similar story to that there. Like, he was always, back in the day, do you know when you drank, like, underage? Yeah, yeah. Every so often, I'd just be, like, doing we all jobs about my, like, yard to get, like, a fiver to go out. Yeah. And then, like, one day I just looked at the top of my driveway and he was just standing there fucking hammered. By himself, he just used to get hammered in the south. Yeah. But he was hammered and he was, like, my mom sent me up to town to get some bread. And whatever, like, so he went and then bought the bread and then we bought ham and then we went, we both got steaming and then we just sat in the pitch and ate ham sandwiches <laughs> until there was no bread or ham left. And then he landed home and his mom was like, where the fuck's the bread? And we were like, yeah. what are you on? Like, You've been out eating sandwiches, haven't you? <laughs> like, chill out, fucking bro. Gear, John. <laughs> yeah. Never mind the vodka. <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam. So he blacked out the field after fucking... That, that day was crazy, right? So he was so hammered and... Uh, oh, yes, we're actually drinking. We were, no, because oh, right. right, we snuck. There was a whole thing going on, but his brother's mate had just turned 21 that day. So we like snuck down to his house, got blocked then went back to my cousin Arn's house and uh, he just, when he, he's one of the people when he gets drunk, he just strips off. Fair so enough. he was just in his house fully nude. My kind of guy. Yeah, and he was just <laughs> on the toilet and we like took a picture of it and uploaded it to Facebook. Because back then you're just like, hey, everything was no, off. Yeah, nice. And then like, Later on, I don't know if it was that day or like a few days later, but do you remember Coney 2020? Yeah, mate, that was fucking There random. was this huge page dedicated to Tony, Coney 2020, and it just randomly shared that picture of him. And I was just like, <laughs> we just seen this hilarious picture of this naked guy. <laughs> just shared it, got like thousands of likes. And he had to report it as like child porn to get it taken down. Jesus Because he was only like 17 or something. <laughs> was it not Coney 2012? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, it was yeah, 2020. It was like, yeah. like a few 20. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, James like drinking in fields as a fucking 30 year old. <laughs> Protecting, uh, fucking, Coney started COVID, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But what happened then? Apparently it was, it was all a load of shit. Apparently it yeah. was sound. <laughs> I heard the guy that was in charge of, like, bringing him down, mm. like, them went mental. And there's like a bro. video of him. Thank out. God I thought we were talking about two different people here. I nah. was like... See, I'm talking about some fucking African warlord or something here, and you were, oh, no, I thought yeah, you were like talking warlord. about someone from like fucking the Shankle or something. No, no, <laughs> the, the, so the guy that started the viral video to get Coney like taken down, yeah. and he became a sick celebrity. But yeah. then he lost his mind. There was a video of him running around the street naked, wanking. Yeah, and that just ruined it. Yeah, it just shot it down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's always the case, isn't it? Where like someone will get exposed, and then the person who exposed them ends up a fucking pedophile or something, and you yeah. go, oh, but no, like, you know, <laughs> what are we supposed to do with this? This man who shit used to wear a hand on Facebook years ago, like, my mate, uh, his ones are away, like, so he had a free house or whatever, and he was like, I'm going to do a house party, he says, that's a great sound, and me and all the boys are like, right, well, you know, we'll make a wee Facebook group for this here, we friends only Jesus, thing, like, yeah. and one of the boys selected, like, public or something, and I'm not joking, boys, thousands of people, it was called <laughs> Fig's House Party, right, and thousands of people from America being like, if everyone in this group sends me a dollar, I can come over and witness this and all people were threatening to shit in his kettle and all <laughs> and I think his man died ended up like not going on holidays and all over the head of it like it was mad yeah. that's crazy like fucking started mental. to go fund me for a fucking house party like <laughs> yeah. oh, Jesus there was a, a time a house party happened in uh, like my mates all went to uni I didn't broke and council estate and uh, they basically huh. sorry <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the like one of the guys who like lived in the house that they were partying was like being a dickhead a girl or something or, I, I don't even know what the story was but uh, basically my mate pissed in his fry light and he used the fry light for fucking like no until it was done <laughs> so oh my God. he was just like it was probably like like you know, ninety percent piss and ten percent fry light, yeah. and yeah. he was just like cooking bacon in it and shit. But during that period, he was like, "Why doesn't it taste just a wee bit better?" Like, What's all this? <laughs> some, this some like different. Sugar, that's just like sugar puffs. <laughs> <laughs> sugar piss. <laughs> I know. Oh, I have two mates who are just disgusting animals. I can they be doing like we practice channel all the time. You know. Yeah. One of them. Uh, 
fucking we st- pranks. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, yeah, we pranks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pun intended. But, Bro, it was just a prank. The prank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking murders him. But he fucking, <laughs> he came in his fuck, he had this David bag, he got this like David oh, bag right. fucking, uh, it's like, like that he came in his charger. Yeah. <laughs> but he, yeah, he came in his David bag and like charger or something that he bought off Christmas and he was loving it, like, you know, he didn't have him for like a week later. What? <laughs> no, he knew. <laughs> he watched him do it. <laughs> he was like, he's like I, I need to take a shower immediately. <laughs> he, he bought it assuming it was David Bagham's comma anyway. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, fucking switch it up a wee bit. <laughs> Jesus, you, that's you, wild. Have you ever been to any wild house parties before or anything? Or? Um, I, I think about that now, they're not too wild. You know what I mean? But I remember being at one when I was 15 and like, you know, everyone's drunk and it's it, the fact everyone's drunk makes it mad. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I said, I said, you're mad and you're steaming. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. But it was... <laughs> Suppose Holy Land's house parties, like, I feel like the average Holy Land's house party is just mental. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's just ridiculous. I wouldn't have the energy for that. No, so, I've, I've been, like, I've been like a depressed weirdo my whole life, so I like drinking <laughs> my own in here. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I couldn't be fucked with that whole shit. Like, I've been I, to some house parties and been like, you know, n- none of it's ever got mad. I like, think the most mad thing my mates ever done was like, other than like, just completely valid human being rights. Um, like, my mates like, <laughs> robbed or run like this, like, guy who like lived in this like girls like fucking you know like their accommodation but yeah. it was like the one guy that lived in it right. and like the my, all my mates showed up to the door and was like uh, is this girl here because apparently she was really good looking and the guy was like no she's not here she's not coming out no blah 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 and uh, they basically wrapped door around them about 32 times <laughs> oh, and, no. and my mate nearly broke his ankle over it and like I'm like that's such a shit story to tell I'm sorry you had to hear that <laughs> <laughs> did I tell the story so I remember in second year uni, we had like a week long freshers house party at our house. It was just kind of like open door policy. Everyone would come in. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I know. And then we had these Homeless like. Homeless men coming in like, fuck, there's home sandwiches in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we well, did we? We, uh, I, I don't know if Romanians did. We had a rug from a Romanian's house. Somebody brought it. <laughs> and, they had to uh, nail it down because it kept trying to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But uh, so like we had these group mates from Belahi. So every time we had like freshers week, they always came up. And this one guy, Nathan, came up and just for the entire week, he just drank in our house, but he didn't wear any clothes, the, like nothing the entire time. Just, any of your friends wore clothes? <laughs> yeah, no, he was just full news, Are you right? this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember coming back one time and I was like going up into one of the rooms and I just seen my cousin Fiona and her friends stare, standing on the side of the room just like talking to somebody, but they looked terrified. Yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went in the room and it was just Nathan Stan drinking a cup of tea, fully nude, <laughs> talking to him. I was like, mate, put on some clothes. Like. Do you ever, did, like, like the, is, do you just have them mates that just refuse to wear clothes in any like sort of situation? Yeah, at all? I, I I've had so many stories are coming to my head and I'm like, I can't tell them one after the other now because <laughs> it's just going to be like, I've this seen my my best mate's dick probably more than I've seen it. You know what I mean? Oh, more than seen I've you. seen my own. Sorry, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> made no sense, but no. like ridiculous. I like we go on holidays and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And you know, there's a, everyone gets mad and all, but there's a certain sense of decorum you have to have. Like you know, <laughs> when you're shouting and showering, it's the time you get to yourself when you're not with all the boys. Like <laughs> he that man will just walk around in the nude. Like you know what I mean? Just complete. Yeah. Some people just love that. Like I love it, but he was standing on the balcony and you know, all. I was like, that's probably illegal. But <laughs> go ahead, get the air around the bollocks. Like you know what I mean? Oh. My mate, uh, my mate Jack, he has this fucking weird addiction to running around naked at things. Like, there's just videos of him jumping off, like, fucking roofs and shit naked. Uh, I remember we were drinking in Belfast about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and uh, he started, He did, they were all staying in the E-top as in the Hilton because of a ball like that. And, uh, <laughs> they, they, he just decided to send a video of him running about the fucking corridors of the E-top and his boxers, and I was like, Lad, lad thinks he's fucking motley crew the dirt. Like I was like, this is hectic. I don't like. I don't know what it is with people like that. I am so like shameful in them situations. Yeah, I don't, I there is something that. fun about the uh, the hallways of like hotels and shit to <laughs> run around steaming. Yeah, true, yeah, and you feel like you're going so fast when you run yeah, down the hall. Man, exactly, that's, that's yeah. the fastest you'll ever run your life. <laughs> it's when you run down a hotel hall. Turn into UCM Bolton in the, <laughs> yeah. in the middle of a fucking drunk schizophrenic rant. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's not like a good game of tag around a hotel at like a family wedding years ago. Tig, oh tag, yeah, I was gonna say I was like, tig, some tag. of the viewers might not know what tag is. <laughs> yeah, that's tag. Well, we call it tag. Like you know, what I mean? <laughs> but no, it's not like a good game of fucking. What the fuck? What do you call them here? What do you call them here? I would just say tag as well. But I that's like, I feel like that's tag, a, yeah. tag, yeah. I feel like that's a waste of the bomb thing. You yeah, know, like, okay, yeah. Whereas, like, you know, I feel like battle falls people would be like, "You mean tag?" And I'd be like, "Suck my dick." You know, like yeah. they'd probably call it something like fucking slapsy runsies or something. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slapsy hunsies <laughs> <laughs> or tags. <laughs> oh, 
like yeah, then. It was weird. Like, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I. I but yeah, I was, I've never been a big guy for me. Like, let's get naked. I'm like, no. <laughs> you just wait till you post you it. You don't want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a, no, everyone's like, let's get naked. And James in a Pope outfit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. No. Dude, that was so weird because it was like Halloween at Terrace. And I was like, well, people will be dressing up. So I like I've seen you in that Pope, Pope outfit. Nobody 30, was dressed. 30, 365 this, days a year. Dude, this is my point. I put it on and literally people just did talk to me as if I wasn't wearing it. They're just like, all right, what's happening? I was like, <laughs> is this not, have I finally wore this out? Nobody even gave a fuck. I know, like Pope McKegney is the, like I, I, I only knew you for the Pope thing before I right. actually met you. Like I remember like just like being a fan of comedy and like people being like, <laughs> You know, like sharing photos of the like all the comedy gigs and stuff, and it would just be McKegney in a fucking pop outfit, and I was like, "Who's this? Who's this magnificent man?" Like, who's <laughs> yeah. that? that was the best seventy pound ever spent. That was like seventy pound. Really? Where's McKegney been? I feel like he's. I don't. He's just doing his podcast thing. I think he's yeah. just happy to do that. Yeah, doing yeah. the fucking subscription service, McKegney Plus. Yeah, oh, that's the best a, idea I've ever heard. Making a severe amount of money. I'm sure. Big dick move. It is. Yeah. It, 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 move. It's, it yeah, is. like if anyone wants to test that, everyone will be like, "Fuck off!" I know. Yes. Let her, uh, Plus, Annie. I don't even want your normal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want the minus. Like, the, delete your Instagram. <laughs> fuck off! Like, yeah. I don't want the minus. <laughs> yeah, the, I don't know. Like, I, like I feel like if anyone else in this entire country tried to do that, they would be like, "Who the fuck do you think you are, mate?" You know? No, he's definitely making a killing. There's a lot of money to be in podcast money. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> not not for me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a five round. Oh, cheers! Yeah. <laughs> See that coffee, but that's not. I suppose that made off this in fucking six months. Um, I did make like ten pay off one episode. That was fun. Did though. you? Yeah. Nice. Did I you know. get up framed? Uh, well, no. It, well, <laughs> it paid for my car. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I, I owe a lot of debt. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was fucking weird. Um, I think we'll start into a question because uh, oh, you got some cues, did you? Yeah, I got a f- I got a few of them. A few of them fucking. Cool. Just said uh, because I just seen uh, Pete Gavin posted something. Have you heard about this Roman Empire shit? Yeah, yeah. Like how, I, I don't know what that. Like it started off with like girls being like, you know, um, asking guys being like, oh, what? Uh, how many times a day do you think about the Roman Empire or something? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't really think about the Roman Empire. I think about just the so vague, just history in general. But like you yeah. know, <laughs> I'm talking like pre worldwide communication history. You know what I mean? So therefore, like. Roman Empire, Greek shit, Egyptian shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know enough about it to like. But it's in to, there yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just, just my pure unga bunga brains. Just like, I wonder what it was like back then. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, it was weird though. Cause my wee sister texted me that she was like, "How often do you think about the Roman Empire?" And I was like, "Fuck, this is kind of annoying." Cause me and my roommate were literally talking about like the Ro- <laughs> like we were talking about um one of the Marcus Aurelius or some yeah. shit. Like right before, I was like, "Fuck." Well, Ten I mean, minutes ago. If anyone here looks like a fucking, you know, like a Roman emperor, <laughs> like yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah, James, like, yeah. you know, like even all them fucking uh, captions you put up of the, where did you come up with that? Did you see these? What was you it? Know, oh, the fucking, the photos of you dra- literally dressed as like a fucking, oh, yeah. like Plato. You know? I can't remember where that came from. And uh, wait there, I need to fucking show you these because I need to like quote some of these captions. Uh, James, my kid just talks much yourself there. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you did like two separate ones of them, and it was like I was gonna do it every week. These? Oh yes, it is this actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do it every week, and I was like, nah, that'll get bored very quickly. <laughs> but I like doing that. Yeah, it was fun. What like? How did you get these photos done? How did that come about? My mate Peter, right? So my mate Peter's great. He's a uh, like a genius level camera guy, and every time he gets like a new lens, he's like. Let me do you want, can I take some photos just for this lens? If you've yeah. got any weird ideas, just come to me with them. Yeah. And then I just, so every, all my sketches is nearly me just going to him with a weird idea and him trying out a new camera. Yeah. And then, just throw it up or whatever. Yeah, yeah. so handy. How do you, like, what is your process behind thinking up a sketch? Even, like, like shit as small as, remember, like, the Joe Rogan video you did? Man, like, I don't the, know. Like, it always, it always comes, like, so last minute. The Joe Rogan one was literally, again... When him wanting to try out a green screen oh, and we were right. like what will we do and we're like oh we'll be on Joe Rogan and then we just played the clip of Kanye and Joe Rogan and I just walked around coming up with answers of things Joe Rogan was saying I was <laughs> all in that one evening oh, was it, it wasn't yeah. really planned at all yeah. it's so fucking and then it blew up and I was yeah. like we should have done more of those yeah. I know like yeah. especially and even the one like remember you got into the path yeah <laughs> Joe Rogan's getting into the ice bomb yes, like, that's that's right. Right. Cracker, he's like asking cracker. you to do like fucking DMT or something <laughs> at the start right. of it <laughs> and uh, but yeah no let me read some of these captions on this because like James is like 
you got me in this pod to read out my fucking Instagram posts. <laughs> I was going, oh, God. <laughs> a life spent sitting on the toilet scrolling through your phone is not a wasted life. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like anti-motivational yeah. kind of things. Because <laughs> you did the, the just do it ones as well, the fake Nike ones. <laughs> yeah. When you follow, you follow ideas, <laughs> a smart man is content with little, but a wise man knows the true path to abundance. R one two R two L one R two left. The right Grand Theft Auto cheat lad. <laughs> Classic. They're yeah. coming up with a new Grand Theft Auto game, aren't they? Seen that? Did the trailers come out, out next week? Yeah, and next week trailers coming out next week. They say it was one hundred and sixty quid. I okay. well believe that. Me. That's fucking. Because that game came out in twenty. Let me start a po- Patreon for fuck's sake. <laughs> that came out in twenty twelve. And to this day, they're still updating it. You still get a new car in the casino every week. I'm a nerd. Uh, you still get. Yeah. You know, they're still releasing like DLC and shit. It's mad. Like, oh man, it's crazy. Like, yeah, I feel like the new one's gonna be literally like a, an entire to scale planet. Oh yeah, Earth. Well, be, like, it'll it'll be, be, it'll it'll be, be I mean, where, where are they going next? But then, like, they said, all the GTA is after like real cities. So like, Vice City was meant to be like Miami, and mm. like you know, Los Santos or whatever is supposed to be LA, and like, uh, what, GTA. What is it? GTA. Th- Four is meant to be New York or Jer- yeah, Jersey. Yeah, man. I f- see the, f- the first time I played that game, I was like, "This is the greatest thing I've ever played." Is, is that San Andreas? Or no, it's the G- one before GTA San Andreas. Okay. And then was it? I'm on, I'm on a GTF. Is it GTF? Oh four? fuck! I'm on yeah. about like way for PS2. Oh, well, oh, well, okay, like, sorry, the bad, first yeah. one that came out after it was like Bird's Eye View. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that that GTA yeah. F- Liberty City. Liberty, Liberty City. City. Yeah. That was in- and then San Andreas came out. Yeah, which was which was the greatest game ever made. I was too young to get it. My brother was just too young to get it. Mine ones were sort of hand in hand about getting it, but our friend across the street had it. We were over there every day. <laughs> we were like, didn't love him. we were like, pick up the hooker, go on. Yeah, man, you're like, we 12 year old, man, I'm going to pick up a hooker, and then I'll kill her and get the money back. <laughs> and then I'll go to the nightclub and just kill everybody. And then just like, and then I'm going to drive around like a normal citizen for a while. <laughs> and like, then get bored in a red light and just go, fuck it. <laughs> I know, the best thing, like the, the most like, fun thing about like GTA was when you got so sick of doing everything so you followed the rules you know? yeah, yeah so you like, hours get, a day just... like you would just be driving down like a motorway from like one city to another just you know doing the speed limit to, yeah. like 60 <laughs> mile an hour and like a fucking you know fucking Fiat Punto <laughs> me, me and my brother I used to watch him play years ago like I, when I was when I was quite young I used to just watch him play because I was scared to play just in case uh, was shit at it or something you know what I mean I just don't like being bad yeah, things, so I used to get frustrated playing yeah. with an older like mate or brother or something was yeah. always so intimidating yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. but I he used to be like before he could drive like he was maybe like I don't even know like maybe 14, 15 or something I don't know and he was like he'd be driving around and be like right I'm gonna go pick up Aaron here and like pretend to pick up Aaron mates in the wind like somewhere you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like just do the mon- most mundane shit ever you know what I mean and I was just going this is fucking revolutionary well, man fascinating yeah, you're, yeah, you're weirdly just sitting in like a fucking car park <laughs> <laughs> yeah just going to <laughs> like outside of Tesco's and GTA <laughs> <laughs> just revving the yoke by yeah. GTA Northern Ireland would just be I uh, got, got a load of souped out cars and drove up north in them you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it's actually the next well not the next it's one of the sketches I've had on hold for ages but I want to make sure I like yeah. have everything perfect perfect and make it huge because I did GTA Mahara right. like years and years and years and years ago <laughs> and it blew up around the school and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. so the next one I wanted to do like either GTA NA or just Belfast it was going to be Port yeah. Rush and like do it all in the theme of like kind of San Andres or yeah, Miami oh, yeah, one I get you, yeah. but yeah so that's the next big one I want to do <laughs> the GTA Port Rush is like it's just one road and you can't drive up it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because there's just old people parked eating ice cream at the side. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking nightmare, that place. Yeah. But um, one of the questions we got uh, was uh, this fellow called Soup. He says, ask James, can he do the terrorist, please? I don't know, man. You can... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you said the terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> can he I'll do the do terrorist? Him. Where is he? <laughs> yeah. um, yes, Put you can. Put the cup back on. Of course. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, like, you don't have to fucking answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Talal Jumar asked... Uh, everyone loves Talal. Uh, that's, great. that's a new I'm TV great. show. Everyone, Everyone loves, loves Talal. Talal. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but it's just him complaining about how far he had to drive to get somewhere. <laughs> uh, what's the worst thing you've ever drank? I was actually going to ask this question earlier on when we were talking about getting carried. It's not like my first carry out was a bottle of Frosty Jack. Yeah, and it was like three quid for you like, two like it for two weeks, didn't you? Oh, my boy used to do this thing to like get us accustomed to it. It was like uh, it was like fucking wine tasting. Like one of the boys used to open the bottle and like we used to go around the circle and just like pop in each other's faces. It's got, yeah. it's got like, essence like, of cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. we used to be, like broken and then we used to put like wee drops of uh, like black heart my body on it. Oh nice! Like, I'd be like playing Xbox on a Tuesday night. My mate'd be like, like I was good the next day. My mate would like be like, great, Mickey, meet me around Mickey's back for a fag, and we would like just go smoke a fag and like. 
I'd say seven times out of ten, he'd be standing with the arse end of Saturday's bottle of Frosty. <laughs> but I mean, like, we were drinking it. And oh, we would just get steaming like a Tuesday night, like, just absolutely. Yeah, you ridiculous. could, and you could handle that when you were a kid. Like, you'd go oh, to no school sweat, the next day, and it was no nothing. <laughs> we used to, we used to be complete scumbags when we were, we used to, like, all stay at each other's house. And then sneak out in the middle of the night and be like, let's just find drink about the town that people, <laughs> that people sat down. And we were like 14 and just walk around. What the fuck's talk, going on in my room? It used to be crazy. People, they used to, I don't, it, it's not like that now, but it used to be like a lot of people used to go out there. But there used to just be like full bottles of drink just lying all over the street from like Jeez. people's nights out or whatever. I don't know why or what. So we would just grab <laughs> them, drink, and just get pissed at like four in the morning, That's freezing. So gross. Have you ever drank uh, fig butt beer? Probably yeah. yeah I've, I've, we, we, my mate had like a his dad a party number years and years ago, and like we were like, yeah, we had everyone went to bed, and we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll drink their drink. For some reason, didn't go for the fresh tins, thinking that they would remember how many tins they had left the next day. So we like, we're just drink the arse tins. And I read the bar, just drank them one, and there's just like two lumps just in the back of my throat. Oh, <laughs> fags, like disgusting. I can't drink. So pint. we spit, you know? Yeah. Like. Yeah, no, no, I can't drink pints without fags, and I like. One, <laughs> one, one time we like because Frosty Jacks. That's what Frosty we first started drinking thing. on that. And uh, we snuck out and we're like, let's find somewhere to drink. And we yeah. there was this house, my cousin's estate, that we were like, this hasn't been lived in for like five years. Yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. break into the garage and like have a party. <laughs> yeah. So we broke it's in a there. Family of six living in it. <laughs> we broke in there, like drank all night. The place was trashed. We're like, that's great. That'll be our new spot. Yeah. And then we left. And the next day, this family was moving in and the whole garage really? was oh destroyed. <laughs> we were like, oh no. James was in their garage writing materials. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I. Uh, See, I only started drinking, like, whenever I was, like, maybe, like, 15, 16. And it was my mum that, like, bought me my first right. drink. She was yeah, like, yeah. you need to be cooler. Yeah, drink like, this. Too, yeah. I, I, I was such a weird dork. I, I was <laughs> such a weird dork. <laughs> like, I, I remember starting to argue with my art teacher over drinking because I hated it so much. Yeah. I think I just had too much bad experiences with the people around me drinking. Yeah, Your yeah, art yeah. teacher was like... Pro, you should be drinking yeah. as a kid. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Like, no, I mean, that art teacher was wildly wrong me one day. And I, I was... Uh, just to go on a bit of a tangent, um, I was like waiting, or I I used to bunk school a lot, like in like fourth and fifth year, like yeah. during GCSE years, and uh, I like went, I was just lying in one morning, and next thing you know, my phone rings, and I just hear this big deep voice, it was like, Jocelyn Freeburn, and I was like, oh, it's the raw, they're coming to get me, you know? <laughs> yeah. he goes, this is your art teacher, you know, if you have an art GCSE right now, and I was like, really? And he was like, I know where you live, you better get up here now. <laughs> the school's up there, like, so I yeah. run up to it, you know? But he was like, you better get up here now, and I near fucking shit a brick. But that was the same guy I sat and argued with in class. I was like, you don't eat alcohol to have fun, now I'm a depressed loser without alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just being like, he was no, like, you yes you do. He was like, lad, you're loud like a wee glass of wine or something, like, and I was yeah. like, what are you drinking? He was like, <laughs> yeah. That's classic art teacher though, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, what you want to fucking draw a picture of a fish get blocked yeah see our art teacher was like uh before him he was a legend he fucking did everything for us he let me away with murder in there literally yeah. and they uh, <laughs> i literally killed again <laughs> in class. you know and they uh, like but the art teacher that was there before him he only took us for like fourth or fifth year because the like old art teacher was like you know retired or some shit yeah. and she was a pervert man she used to do the same thing to all the students and it was one of them things where it was like you didn't realize till you were an adult and like me and yeah. all my mates had her like for different years because my mates were like you know i was like say i'm like you know 24 now they were like 25 and 26 <clears> and 27 yeah. you know so they all had their, her for like different years and they were like we were all just sitting like talking about it one time just being like you know oh she uh, i remember she used to do this thing to me where like i would like go into she would ask me into like the cupboard to like reach things off the shelf and she would just stand at the side of the door and watch me like lift things oh no like right. she would only do it to like you know like the boys in the class you yeah know, like, like the wee sporty boys or something you yeah. know and then next <laughs> anyone with a tight ass <laughs> come help me with this bookshelf <laughs> i need a few <laughs> strong boys to come and lift my tits out of my chest i <laughs> but she literally i remember my mate was like she used to do that to me and we were like were we like were we like groomed? <laughs> groomed we, but, yeah. yeah, to be fair, I'd, I'd, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> redacted. What's your name? <laughs> What's your number, girl? Um, but no, that was a uh, crazy. But yeah, I remember starting arguing with him. But no, my uh, basically the whole tangent that was uh, the my mum bought me my first drink when I was like 15, 16 in W5 Bowling Alley. Yeah, And I got fucking rode off. And that's there, a great time. <laughs> place where alcoholism begins. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where it started for me. And uh, I remember just being drunk at like 15 
and like playing bowling and I, the, you know the punching bag machines yeah. like you hit it gives you a score uh, I remember walking past and just smacking that. Like I, I was, I was. It was my first time. Drinking. Just yeah. comes up two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hit it and it came back and hit me in the face. Oh, no. I thought it was mad to go, and you know what? It stays up. Yeah. And it came back and hit me in the face, and I just turned around in like a blind rage and like did some big loud fucking you know wannabe Joker laugh yeah. at a t- family of like nine, <laughs> and they were all just like staring at me like Jesus. this. I just turned around and was like, ah! <laughs> and they were all like, fuck. what the fuck? <laughs> Future school shitter. Yeah. <laughs> and we top not not back. Then, so I must look like such a virgin. Like, you the top knot, no. yeah, man. I had, oh, a, I had fucking dreadlocks, man. You, what? You, you didn't know me, bro. I had fucking braids and shit. Well, the coffee, too. yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm just switching out to my <laughs> shack and coffee. <laughs> His extended clips, Jewel <laughs> Mag, <one. laughs> drum bar, fun around drum, man. yeah. But no, that's it. That's so I got into drinking then, and like it was like a weird, you know, after that, like we drank in my house, and I remember we all bought, bought a bottle of wine thinking that was like. The cool thing to do, yeah. we were like adults drink wine, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, me and all my mates got blocked on it. And then uh, my mum came back in with like a liter of vodka and was like, "Drink that, you fucking pussies!" Yeah. <laughs> like I, literally said that. She was like, "Fucking, would you fucking drink that?" That's I, amazing. I, and we all I, threw up in my toilet. My, my, <laughs> together, it was a real bomb. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bomb moment. Yeah, I think your mate was holding your braids back. <laughs> I can't believe you in braids, man. Yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, I'll have to try and find the photo. Oh, but what got you? Photo. What got you into drinking? Well, well, you were just saying about wine there. I, want, I got real into wine. My mate loves his, you know, his, his finer things, food and drink, and all them acquired tastes and stuff like you know. But he got me into red wine, so I was a great pussy. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, he got me into red wine, and we were going to the Holy Lands for Paddy's Day. You know, right? I yes. Fast. I bought a bottle of fucking red wine with me. I remember like everyone's steaming, and someone just goes, "My, it's so fucking funny." Someone just goes. The fuck's drinking Merlot? <laughs> and, I like, oh, no. and I remember everyone being like, "Ah, oh, fucking Kemp." No, and I was like, "Yeah, what the fuck's that dickhead then?" No, oh, like, you I couldn't even. But no, I, I sort of had start now. I just a few minutes later, it was like, "Ah, it's me drinking the Merlot." Uh, I mean, I had to admit it. But then uh, we uh, we had to go to the, the uh, fucking the off license was closed and the line was massive and I was steaming. I was drinking. I was running out of my Merlot, like you know. I was like, "Fuck, yeah. God forbid!" So I was like, "I'll go get more drink here." You can't afford that four quid, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I I I went, I went, I went, I went to the off license for everyone, you know. And I was like, "What is all on?" They're all like, "Buck fast, buck fast, buck." Fast and I was like, yeah, buck fast, same, man, same. <laughs> <laughs> I went and reluctantly and bought it. a bottle of buck fast for myself. Like, fuck oh, me, man. who's drinking Merlot? Like, oh, fuck no. me, me swirling it about and all. <laughs> Brutal. I oh, like sniffing it, and all guys are all fucking doing coke out of <laughs> their fucking dog's forehead, and you're like, yeah. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, that was a uh, my braids are all screenshot. Jesus it, but, Christ! But, but that That's was when it, that was when it was really short. It got like a uh, really long, and like whenever I pulled my hair down, it would go down to like my fucking belly button. No, and it was like dreaded and like fucking braided, and like I used to dad all different colors, like purple and shit. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I was. I, I, I was. I was getting. <laughs> <laughs> I was on cool before. That was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although it, that is cool. It looks dope though. Yeah, yeah. it looks nice. Yeah, that was that was back in the the robber days as well. Yeah, nice. so bringing them back. Yeah, <laughs> these the old braids. We're bringing them back, baby. Yeah, um, my, my hair is in a bit of a transition period right now. Like I. We always got the same haircut like a fucking cartoon character for ages and then I was like fuck it I'll change it up and uh, I was sort of putting my hair all the way back and like Jack Grealish's hairstyle and I was calling myself Fat Grealish or Fatty Cash that's a football reference <laughs> you get it but uh, and then it's it's weird Man, I, I haven't watched football since Joe Cole played for Chelsea man. I swear <laughs> yeah. I haven't a clue about it at all like. but uh, now I don't know what, really know what I'm doing so I just get short back sides and just fucking Leave the top and hope. <laughs> what I, do right now. I don't know what I'm doing with the it. The like. best thing I ever did was just shave all my hair off. Yeah, and then you, just, I think you suit the balls cut back. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. I just shave it off, let it grow out long, just shave it off, and yeah. it just saves me a fortune in haircuts. Even whenever I like first met you, like two years ago, or whatever, it was like, well, imagine that. It's been like fucking over two years I since know. I met you. And uh, like, I, I remember you just had this big fucking like it was massive Crazy haircut part of like, hair, yeah man. like it was fucking like when you put a hat on like the, the the hat didn't touch your head no it didn't for fucking three to five working days like you <laughs> know it had to fucking settle into it it was crazy it's such big hair and then all of a sudden it was just gone everyone was like what's happening it's, <laughs> yeah. James depressed like what's <laughs> yeah, yeah. my Britney moment yeah <laughs> I was gonna shave all my hair off a lockdown like everyone else did but I've got like a pretty decent fucking head of hair at the top and I was just you so afraid. Savor it. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. just like, if this thing doesn't grow back, I'd regret it for a lifetime. Like, Is so anybody in your family bald? Uh, my dad's His receding, mom. but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, but uh, no, my dad's receding. Dad's receding. Like, His mom's receding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate mom jokes. <laughs> They're fucking terrible. Uh, but no, my dad shaves his head. It's intentional, Paul. You know what I mean? But right. I think he's been involved for so long now that it's probably 
like I don't know if he's bald or not. If that makes sense, but my brother started to receive. <laughs> you don't know what are you like? No, but like, my dad's one of the things where you don't know like, you don't know if someone wears an earring because you never like notice it, and then yeah, when, yeah. when they go, "Am I wearing an earring?" and you go, oh, oh, no, yeah, I, "I don't yeah, know." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think I think I definitely get my mom's her line like Daphne. He used to call me Teddy Bear her in school. Just because I'd really soft her all the time, like people used to it was like doesn't help that big fluffy jumper man. Yeah, really. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking Barney the dinosaurs neurodivergent cousin. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I used to be obsessed with her, but um, I remember getting like really like badly bullied at one point, and uh, there was this guy that lived around Lurgan who was an absolute dickhead. I hated his guts, man, yeah. and uh, he pinned me to the ground one time. And uh, he knew I wore her spray a lot because I used no. to have, like I used to have her up as well. And yeah. then whenever I grew it out, it went like just tied back. But uh, whenever I used to wear it up, it used to be massive and like a big thick mullet the whole way back. And uh, as the first guy to get a mullet, fuck everyone else these days. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> pissing me off with these mullets, man. I was fucking as fourteen one, and uh, I got I only got it because Yellow Wolf had one. But um, <laughs> nice. like basically, uh, I, like I had her spray on it just to keep it like up. And uh, this guy pinned me to the ground, sat on me, farted on me. And then tried to light my hair on fire. And Jesus I, Christ. I was like, this is traumatic. But at the same time, I'm like, it has to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it, if it like brought up that much violence in a man, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, this is clearly not a good hairstyle. It, it, got, it got to the stage where Tried he, to kill me. Like. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was the fart that was annoying because it was in front of a girl that I fancied the life out of as well. Oh, and it was like, I think it was like maybe like 14. It was still in school at the time. Fuck. So it was about 13, 14. And he like, Jesus. Just, he like pinned me to the ground. Fuck him, he's about four foot one now. So well, like, yeah, that's, that's like the epitome of your scar in the hose. Like, you know I mean? like, yeah, like, like yeah. I'm getting farted on. Ick. <laughs> fart hair, like, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I'm like, like trying to light it, and I was like, You don't even smoke, why do you have a lighter? <laughs> yeah. like, I bought it for this. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. He ran up this shop, fuck him. He worked in a car wash. Um, <laughs> dickhead, I say that like I wasn't jobless for like half a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, did you, did you ever have any weird situations in school like that where you just like had like that sort of traumatic memory of I it. was, I, like, my hair was a source of pure trauma for no reason. I was, like, pure anxious about my hair. You're the and only I, person in Mahara with her. That's <laughs> yeah, maybe. Fucking radioactive out there. Man. I used to, like, just ply it with Water so much hair on. gel and try to, it always looked terrible. Yeah. But I would, like, get it to the point where I'm like, yes, okay, that's great. And it just looked like shit for, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, fucking years. Do you remember Dax Wax? Did you see Dude, yeah, oh, they destroyed my hair. hair. tar. I like, think Dax Wax, again, was, like, a, a waste of the bomb thing. I like I don't know anyone in Belfast that wore Dax wax. They were like Alberto Bomb, you know, like that yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. A blue fucking you know gel shit that they that used to wear. Yeah. Oh, the well look, I hated that. Yeah. I had to go for the red tub of just like what what was I that know shit? What you're talking about, but yeah. yeah, like it was the only thing that could like yeah. do anything to my hair because yeah. the rest just absorbed all gel. <laughs> I'm convinced Axe Wax is like the main reason for like male pattern baldness. What? Yeah, <laughs> like definitely <laughs> cyanide and that shit. Or yeah, something. That fucking shit was like. Like, like it, there was no reason for that to be so like thick, yeah. and then you got the wet look one, but it was still thicker than like shite. You know, yeah, it was like it was nuts. yeah. yeah. And I then, had to stop using it because my hairdresser was like, "Do you straighten your hair?" And I was like, "No." And she's like, "Your hair is completely fucked because <laughs> really? if it was like all burnt because I had so much dax in it constantly." Jesus Christ! I remember the uh, smell of it as well. Like, yeah. Remember like Spice Boy haircuts? You called the Spice Boy? Yeah, like, I had so that for like, a bit. The, and then the back, the tail, or the you know, the back of it was straightened and all as well. We had the oh fucking, my god, oh shit! Uh, yeah, we had all You're that. Scaring shit. the hose, man. Oh man, the hose were terrified. <laughs> <laughs> they were still terrified. Terrified these hoes. <laughs> but yeah, we had all that one time. My mate. One time, I remember him getting his hair cut. And like, so he used to straighten the front fringe, the wee side bits, and then like the back. Yeah. And one time, my mate, like, he just was getting his hair cut, and you know you're getting a bad haircut when the barber offers you a f- the, like a haircut a couple of days later for free. <laughs> like, do you want like, me to fix that up for you? Yeah, yeah. He, literally, yeah. he literally goes, "If you want to come back in a couple of days, you don't like it, come back to me." And I remember just thinking that haircut is atrocious. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes barbers save you. I remember mine's refused to add in like two of them, like speed lines or whatever. Oh really? I was like, do some of them. And she was like, no, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. You look stupid. Yeah. Like, please. Sure, that was last week. So. Yeah. <laughs> come on. She was like, a couple of racing lines, lad. <laughs> <laughs> up the side there, I'll do me all right, no, but yeah. Fuck, I I've got I've got a race in fucking the Crown Plaza. <laughs> 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 the hallway is going to run faster, man. <laughs> I'm racing down the Ibis later on. <laughs> Me and the boys were getting naked and running down the hallway. <laughs> James, you're the kind of guy to get racing stripes in your chest, her, man. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all just went. 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you really are awesome. Not a bad idea. You know, right. I'm sure we have some Monscape floating about in here somewhere. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always trying to get free Monscape off all them podcasts. I'm like, oh, I know. That that's that's the only reason James goes on all the podcasts. Dave gave me a nose hair trimmer, which I lost. So I need to get another one. Oh, mate. I need so a better good. one. Every time I get one, for some reason, it ends up rusted. And I don't know if it's a ginger joke or it's like, <laughs> a, like I sort of got, like the tip of it keeps getting rusted. I think it's because I wash them so much and then just leave them out. Like, yeah, they're just bad, cheap ones. That's what it is. Yeah, there's some sort of weird alcohol spray you have to get from them or some shit, isn't there? I don't know. I have so much effort, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, was it a fucking whole lot of admin behind trimming your nose? Know, like, 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 let me just grow old in peace. Like, just you know? packing out your hands. Like, <laughs> oh, like the rest oh, of it is yeah, fucking... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, have get a good fucking, like, you have to get the velocity behind it. Do you ever get like a hair that's like three meters long and you're like, what's that in my brain? <laughs> like, where was it? You feel it tickling your arse as you pack yeah. it out. <laughs> you're saying that now my nose is tickling. Fuck this. I know. Now Adam Lachlan's going to fucking react to us talking about nose hair trimmings. No, I swear to God. Like, I... At the odd time, I like know what I start. I got one of the other day, only one. Like I swear to God, it was only one an ear her. And oh I'm, shit! I'm shitting myself now because I like felt I was like just doing this, like scratching my ear or something, and I went. Oh. It was a her, and I thought it was like, it was like, how did her get there? And I went to pull it, and I went, oh my god, I can feel that in the inside of my ear. <laughs> yeah. And I like fucking, I like just went, eh, and like pulled it, and it was the same thing. It was like fucking a meter long, like, bro. <laughs> and I, I, was, I, was, I was like, you know, you could dangle it off a fucking balcony and swing down like Rapunzel, <laughs> you know, but uh, I swear to God, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh, I'm really getting old now. Yeah, yeah that's one of the things, well, you don't want to be scared, because I guess the way they always say, if you shave hers to grow back thicker, like, yeah. like in the air, I'm yes. leaving that bitch, I'm going to braid it like you're a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm leaving that, like, <laughs> coming out with a <laughs> yeah, man. If I, if I didn't do like fucking maintenance, my beard would be like I would just turn into a ball of hair. Yeah, like yeah. I swear to God, it's easy. Yeah, because I don't have easy. Like really, really easy. <laughs> like cousin it, just like cur- <laughs> curly cousin it over there. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, that was a uh, weird. I had another question here. Um, I can't remember what the question was. What's the worst thing you've drank? drank oh yeah. yeah, Frosty Jack. That's the answer. I love how you drank a fucking pint with fag. What's in it? And you went Frosty Jack. Oh, no, that's it's how, up there, that's how stinking Frosty Jack is. I swear. I, I haven't drank cider since. Booked, yeah. booked one night drinking Frosty Jack. Haven't touched cider since. I, I sip of an orchard thieves and I had to go home. <laughs> Man, fuck, I hate cider. Like every time I drink cider, I black out and throw up, and it just it. I can taste it for weeks oh, after. Yeah, it's, it's you know that's fucking like that's why all, all I drink is whiskey now because it's the only thing that doesn't like fuck me up. It's weird, but um, I remember uh, what was I gonna say there? Oh, I. I uh, we played beer pong with rum one time. You know, like oh Cat Jesus! Morgan. And we did, we did, we bought a bottle of like that spiced rum and a bottle of like Bacardi. Yeah. And uh, we played beer pong with it and just poured it in random cups. And uh, we walked home from like the, from like wherever we were in town or whatever. And uh, like we walked past an Asda and I walked in and bought a box of brownies. You know, and we Asda brownies, the small ones you get in like the boxes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I had them, not knowing that they were orange flavored. Oh no. And I was like, oh, I don't like orange shit. But anyway, ginger joke again. And uh, I was like, I, I just got home and I threw up so much, and all I could taste was chocolate orange and rum for like fucking. Oh, that's brutal. That's that, a nice cocktail though. Probably, <laughs> like, you know, probably would be nice now. Yeah. yeah. It's fourteen quid in Cathedral Quarter. You know? yeah. <laughs> we used to like because there was like the hotel in Maharaj, so they used to do an under 18s night, but it was just f- kids from all over the country would just land to Maharaj and just drink. Just like young farmers or some shit, or no, it was just like a random night out. But everyone used there was an alley beside one of the Chinese is that like every kid in town would just pad there were like three hundred kids in there just you drink dr- the Chinese alley this Dude, weekend. Yeah, don't, don't James so it's alley. Maharaj Chinatown. <laughs> and, uh, we would just get so smashed, but there was so the police would circle the town, but there were so many kids down there. Yeah. They couldn't do anything about it. They kinda just arrest were, us all. They were kinda just watching everybody. But I, rem- I just remember one moment. There was this girl and uh she was like it's a bit promiscuous and shit. But it's just... <laughs> promiscuous. It was just one of the... She's mo- a her. Yeah. It was just one of the moments where I'd seen some guy get cut down so hard because there was this hedge and he was like, oh, go on, ride me behind the hedge. And she yeah. was like, all right, come on then. And he was like, no. And then everybody was just like, yo, you whacker. Oh, Same thing happened to me. Um, where <laughs> <laughs> you were like come ride me behind this <laughs> basically uh, I remember that again the same girl that I fancied the life out of uh, we used to go around the golf course and steal golf balls and like sell them back to like the fucking old cunts for like a cheap rate nice we used to make like four, fucking 40 quid off it was class That's as a child idea. like you know oh, we were, real? and uh, I was like again like 15 maybe <coughs> and uh, this girl uh, like all of our mates like were like well we're going to run down to our house and they all just sort of like left off one by one and there was just one guy like sitting between us like just in the middle and he looked at both of us and he went 
I'll go with him. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> like, yeah. In my head, I was like, because I, you know, I was, I, I'm the same now where I could, I can talk the talk, but I'm a fucking, I was like back then I was a bitch, like you know, yeah, and uh, yeah. like she like was like sitting beside me, and she was like sort of edging towards, and it was like such fucking you know teenage coming of age movie fucking shit. Oh yeah, where she, she was like interested in blah blah blah, and uh, she was a pretty girl as well, and I remember just being like sitting there and. Uh, she was like, so like, are you going? Are you going to kiss me or what? So cringe, like, but you're, right. you're a teenager, shit. Like, I fucking, oh, you know, yeah. blah blah blah. And I was like, I turned around to her and I was like, yeah. And then I, I remember she went to like lean in and I packed her on the cheek. And no, went, oh, yeah. you. and oh, I was cause I was such a loser, man, and I was so afraid of being a loser. I went, that's all you're getting. Uh, <laughs> leave she, her want more, lad. Kind of, kind leave of her want more. She went, you're all talk. Yeah. <laughs> and went back to the Emmons and I went. Just sat in the bench like this. <laughs> like, oh, what's man. wrong with me, man? It's, yeah. kind, of, it's kind of a power move as well, though, at the same time. Like, yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, uh, some Andre Tate shit if it's a power yeah. move. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's packed her in the that, cheek out of pure pussiness. Uh, like. Misogyny. Like. Yeah. Those moments were so terrifying when you were young, though. Exactly. Like, it really yeah. was scary shit. I remember, mm. like, a fucking girl brought me into a fucking disabled toilet one time and i was like oh no and she was just like so she was like she had yeah. no idea geez. yeah she, number one she had no idea but then she was like yeah let's go do stuff in there and we brought her in, or she brought me in and then i just sat and talked to her about it i was like well what's crack and she was like are you gonna go with me and i was like no oh, can we go into the main store yeah. <laughs> you wait here i'll be right back do you want to watch her like <laughs> yeah that's wild oh, what was like terrifying. um not to get like too personal with it like did you wh- when you were younger and shit like that were you like ever in the mind when did you know that you were like not that like fucking out here or anything you know like, um i don't even uh i don't even know for context, all, james, it was like james is gay yeah <laughs> fuck it was that uh, it was like a pure uh it was like a real transition because you used to like fucking like do you know like your are stupid relationships you yeah, have and you're like for a week or two exactly, yeah, loads yeah. of that shit and then I just became less and less interested oh really yeah. I was like I don't like this at all so yeah. when did you like just sit down and go yeah I think I am I know there's I always, don't even it, know. it's not as easy as that like but like I think it was mid wank one time I was like <laughs> what am I even thinking of fuck that <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love how he's like I was thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah. the Mahara wank there's no wifi <laughs> You yeah, it was one of them old school thought wanks. <laughs> 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 think wank. <laughs> it was back when you had to find porn think, magazines in a bush. Think wank. James was it's like a think tank on everyone's just jacking it up. Think wank's the name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like, James is like, why is there no gay porn magazines in these bushes, man? <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? This is <laughs> yeah, yeah, you discrimination. Up, you open up nuts and you're like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> where oh, are, man. Where are the nuts? <laughs> We used to like we used to go on family holidays to like go every year, me and my cousins, and yeah. it, there was a twenty four hour garage and every night we were like, The night's night we go down there and buy a knots magazine. But it was like always the guy in the twenty four hour windows. Yeah, we always yeah. went up and we were like we were like ten. Yeah. We we're like, Can we have dairy milk? And then we just get it and fucking leg it. We're like, Tomorrow we're gonna get it like yeah, yeah. whacking over the bar dying like that's it'll do. It'll do can, I get, can, can I get a nuts uh uh, JP's not sorry <laughs> yeah, yeah. ever. <laughs> my, my brother and his mates used to fucking go in and buy like a nuts magazine or what do you call the other ones? It doesn't even matter, but they used to buy a nuts magazine and then buy an auto trader as well and then put the nuts inside <laughs> the auto trader. Oh, yeah. And then no but like the inside the auto trader and like then just like read it out in the street, but everyone thought they were reading the auto trader, but they were just horny. Just, out. just <laughs> sitting there, weird. pure like, horny as well. Yeah, like public horny. You know Nobody I mean? knows weird. how horny I am right yeah, now. <laughs> These Cadillac like converters are giving me such a hard <laughs> on right now. <laughs> fuck, he, fuck, he's interested in the Ford Focus, is anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's like I that fucking lot. that meme. It's just like nobody knows I'm horny right now, and everyone's like, we all know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fully aware. That you're, horny right now. Yeah, you're moaning, looking at a fucking punto. Like, <laughs> 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 to be fair, though, there would be some lads doing that. So, oh yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, back to the port, you know, like, back to port rush. Just They're kidding. like looking at the car magazine inside a nuts magazine. Like, I swear it's porn. <laughs> That's a belt there. Nuts and bolts magazine. <laughs> <laughs> that's hectic. <laughs> fuck that's milk. hectic. Did you say that? Uh, is that like the catchphrase? I was, wish. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> hectic. <laughs> he Press the hectic button. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna steal all the Gaddises once. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. Yeah, but oh, um, fuck. no. Have you ever uh, <laughs> random? <laughs> this is such like a, a a guy, three guys in a podcast question. Have you ever had? A, has ever been at like a friend's sleepover and had a wank in the bathroom? 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I don't want to see your wasn't anywhere I didn't wank. I swear to God. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. I was always, it's just, you were just always up for it. You're like, yeah, I'll have a yeah, wank yeah. in the garage <laughs> while I'm waiting on this thing to happen. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I remember like, uh, we got like really drunk. <laughs> it's like, that's how old I was when I did this. <laughs> yeah, this story's ago. gonna get gay. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I remember, we, were, I literally have a photo or a video somewhere of it in my phone, like, um, Dear God, <laughs> not, the wank, not the wank, not the wank, the night. We, <laughs> we, we, it was, <laughs> it was, literally that was the vibe. Like, but I, I remember we, uh, we basically we all bought a bottle of Jack Daniels each because Tesco's was doing like a, a a deal where you got like a like a liter of Jack Daniels for like twelve quid or something or like yep. something wild like that. And we didn't drink whiskey at the time, so we all bought different flavors and went, we'll all share them and all, you know, not knowing we would all drink the knack out of it and just pass out, you yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, I remember just being like. We got drunk, and my mate used to connect the HDMI t- cable to his like living room TV, and uh, like his because his dad used to like travel all the time, so like you know no one was ever home, and he used to just watch <laughs> perfect porn. wanking. <laughs> he used to just watch por- <laughs> like just watch porn on like the fucking yeah. on the TV, yeah, and I remember eleven o'clock preview like we've all been there. Yeah, exactly, and I remember just being like uh, like horned out at it, and you're just sitting with like you know a group of your mates, so you're like. I'm not allowed to be this. Yeah, <laughs> like, I think that was such a common thing, though, because <laughs> I think that happened so many groups of lads that you're like, that was weird, lads. We'll never talk about that. And then as you get older, you you're talk like, to other ones, you're like, oh, everybody just wank with their mates. All right, okay. Should we plan this? Like, yeah. like, like should Friday night, my house wankathon. Let's do it, lads. <laughs> we'll have our think wank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah um, you, you, I, yeah, we're all gonna carry it. You get the kit off. <laughs> Go at it. <laughs> I know. Bag of coke and a stroke. Yeah. yeah. Circle jerk, man. I remember we went to a ski trip in Italy. And like we we're all staying in the same room, and for some reason the only channel on the TV was like the news or like Italian babe station. Jesus Christ! So it was just it ended up just being like a bunch. That's of all Italy like, is. Yeah. <laughs> floods, of, floods and porn. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking floods of cum as well. After that. <laughs> um, it ended up just being like every night, just a room of like ten people just watching porn under blankets, really? just like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, this has turned into a very strange school trip. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Duffy's in the corner doing it also. <laughs> He's and like, I, shut up, lads. <laughs> can't fucking see. I mind uh, my mates, back to the actually buying Nuts magazine and stuff. When <laughs> he used to buy Nuts magazine and then my mate was loving it so much that he used to put like the like posters up on yeah. the wall, right? like whole fucking oh wall filled with posters, right? And it's like childhood bedroom. Yeah, and, that's and, mad. and his mom would come in and be like, "Fuck me!" Like you know when he was eighteen, he's like, "Fuck me!" Like come on, the fuck. Obviously, like you know his mom's washing his cacks from him and coming in and just seeing chaves all over the wall. <laughs> we're like, "Fucking get that down and look at it." So what he done is got blue tack and put it all over, over all the nipples. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I don't think that's worse." You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's actually much. <laughs> but that's he's, the crazy thing because like. As soon as the nipples covered, it seems to be oh that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's even like Instagram and stuff. It's like you know all them like fucking OnlyFans models. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They literally were like you know them like see through mesh nineties. Yeah, yeah. And mesh their night. tits are clean out, but there's mesh over it. So it's yeah. like you're like oh I can see like full like you know, areola like but yeah, yeah. The, because <laughs> there's a bit of mesh over the top of it, you know it's fucking fine. Yeah, like you know, count, yeah. I'm on the DUP ruined everything, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, my first like Jesus. Uh, I remember. Anyway, that other story was basically, uh, I remember, like, one of, like, my wee, like, you know, the gr- the, the girlfriends you're talking about, like, the fucking two-week ones or whatever, yep. was, like, texting me, and uh, I remember just going into the bathroom and having a wank, <laughs> but uh, another time we, uh, <laughs> made I wank too many times with my mates, like, in proximity, like, yeah, it was way too close, like, <laughs> and, uh, like, one time, like, literally, this was, like, 2019, <laughs> like, I swear to God, me and my mate went to a Tac 9 concert <laughs> in fucking Voodoo in Dublin, and we stayed, like, literally just me and one other mate, oh, and, no. uh, we <laughs> we had uh, we got diarrhea from the sausage rolls in the train anyway but uh, we went into the but we ran in our bathroom like crazy and i remember us planning we were like you know oh we're gonna have a wank in here <laughs> and he was like <laughs> the tech <laughs> not in the tech night oh, right, okay. oh, like, yeah. <laughs> oh this is like yeah, yeah but uh, like i remember going into like i was like um i'm like he was like oh i need to use the bathroom and i was like i need to use the bathroom and he was like are you gonna have a wank and i was like yeah and he was like Right, you can go first, but I'm going after. I need to have one. I remember we like, you know, like uh, finished. I'm just like, that was normal. Like, that yeah, was, was so horned out as well. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> did you notice how weirdly cold the tile floor was? <laughs> I remember, like one time we were all. My cousin was standing in my house, but he got there after a night out, and I wasn't out that night. 
and uh, he must have landed home blocked because we woke up the next day and he was just lying, like we were sleeping in the living room and he was lying sleeping on the sofa just in his boxers and he woke up and he's like lad I'm covered in cum. Did I have wine glass? <laughs> he came in and, and you're like, no, I didn't. I watched porn. I'm just like in the room with everyone and then passed out, just Jesus. covered in jizz. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh my God. How do you get away with some shit like that? Like, <laughs> how do your mates just like, turn off? Can you imagine doing that now? Coming home to your house, passing, having a wank in your living room, passing out. Like, that, everyone would know immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah. The DUP ruined everything, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Swear to God, that's weird as fuck. That's like. hectic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. no, um, what was your, uh, your first, do you ever remember your first ever like time coming? What, yeah. what, again, three guys in a podcast conversation. <laughs> this is like oh, the yeah. most stereotypical conversation yeah. ever. Like, people are going to be like, fuck me. Yeah, but I, 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 this is like when people, you know, when you go to work and people ask you, what do you have for lunch? This is like my sort of question for <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Like, I love hearing about this yeah, shit. What did you have the weekend? I do remember I was on family holiday in Spain and uh, Sick. yeah, pretty, pretty badass. And uh, I had a wank and I was like, Holy shit, that was the first time I ever did it. And that rest of that holiday just became me wanking 24 oh, really? 7. El Spermo, like. yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, mine was a uh, because the guy uh, it, was, it was another fucking sleepover. <laughs> I like it, <laughs> but uh, same again. You know, I remember I was like, I was like maybe twelve, and uh, this guy, God rest him, he actually just did uh, like he just passed away there recently as well, like literally a few weeks ago. It's crazy, Get and it just brought up that memory again. I was like, he was there when I had my first wank. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, That's beautiful. It was like me and him shared the experience of listening to D twelve, my bond for the first time, and having a wank. You know? <laughs> oh, and God. I remember like panicking because whenever I like came. It was like nothing came out, but I had like the full feeling of it, and yeah, I didn't that was know. Weird. I mm-hmm. didn't know that what the weird. feeling of it was. I yeah. was like, "Oh my god, is my dick gonna amputate itself mm-hmm. or something?" <laughs> and I remember running to the toilet, panicking and like checking it, like you know, Jesus, like what the hell's going on here? It was strange. That yeah, was strange. That was that was a weird one. Yeah, yeah. he's all walking <laughs> away. All right. <laughs> he's all walking away. <laughs> he's, he's all sorted for Christmas coming up and all. <laughs> it's gonna be a white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know. Yeah, what was your suit? What was your first one? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think. Like I still yet to do. I was early to the game. Like, I, I was, just came out bucking. That's I, was, I, was, I was a late bloomer in terms of like puberty and stuff. Like I remember, like you know, being in the, the change room at school. Like people had like you know underarm hair and all. And I was like, that's like stage four. You know what I mean? Like, what are you, like <laughs> yeah. I'm not even stage one yet, but I remember <laughs> stage four. There was some I remember watching stage four puberty. Got terminal <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching Kevin and Perry go large. And they were talking about like a Perry one lad. <laughs> <laughs> See when he wears that jacket backwards. By the water, I will large. <laughs> but uh, fucking, I remember. I remember it was around that time. I'd be like, "What the fuck's wank and all?" I'm mean, a funny enough. Actually, I remember this here. It's a bit of a tangent, but I remember if you've, you've ever you've watched Kevin and Perry go large. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But no one ever. Um, Perry walks into like the CD store and he's trying to get a job. He's like, "Can you show me what punk is?" And then he says something like, "He's like spunk." And I remember like not knowing what it was, right? <laughs> and I remember sitting at the dinner table one time after me and my brother watched Kevin and Perry. I was obviously not allowed to watch it. We were just at the dinner table and I just thought it was like a reference to something funny. Like, <laughs> I remember just standing there, we were all just eating goujons and chips. And I was like, spunk. And my ma <laughs> beat the fuck me out. Did you learn that? And I had to blame it on some boy I used to hang about with up in the middle street, Thomas. But you're like, not allowed to hang about with Thomas anymore. <laughs> like, I love him. Love him. <laughs> Fucking hell. But, but it's around that time. I remember just, I was already the game. I remember just being like, what is this? My mate thought he invented wanking. Uh, he was like, God. I'm about to change the world. Oh, he thought he had a million dollar idea. I mean, he was he like, Nobel pre- Peace Prize coming my way. He used to get in between like two of his, his index and his middle finger and just like go to town. Oh yeah, that we move. Yeah, yeah, we were just like that. Yeah, and he used to do that, and then he, he like he like kept oh, that move. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was pretty that yourself. Move. You know the classic <laughs> double finger, like. But he was doing that. <laughs> he, he he like he told me this like years after. And he was like, man, I thought I invented wank. I said, what do you mean? Like, he just said he used to do it. And he, like, he told no one because he didn't want anyone to steal the idea off him. And he was going to, like, he was going to pitch it to people. Present and all, it like, to the yeah, world at one point. Yeah, he was going to present it. Like, <laughs> yeah, it mental. But That's the World Economic Forum. Lads, <laughs> this although, is see, going to end the war. Although, right enough, though, like, I, I think, see if, like, the whole past in Israel thing, see if the audience got me now. Just to have a wank for a second and just go, you know what, like, post not clarity. Nah, I'm sorry, mate. You, know yeah, what I mean? like, you won't even be worried about them fucking 40 virgins, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a completely different thing. <laughs> but, lad, it's crazy, like, how after a wank, you you see the world completely different. Oh, oh yeah. Post it's clear. Completely different. You know what it feels like? Man. Have you ever had a migraine? And your sight kind of goes fucked up. Like mm-hmm. I, when I get a migraine, it feels like everything is like like tunnel vision, and that's what it feels like whenever I'm horny. And then whenever I come, I'm like, 
you know, everything like broadens out again. <laughs> yeah. I get like a wider lens on the planet, you know. It is My weird. peripherals come back, you know. Yeah, post nut clarity is nuts, man. It is. is it one, right? one of them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Post nuts clarity, but yeah, <laughs> that was like a like I don't post know. auto trader clarity. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. But uh, I have uh, one more question, and then we'll yeah. we'll wrap her up because I think we're what are we on? We're, we're just over an hour here. We're grand. Fucking hell. Yeah, so, <laughs> wanking can change the world, man. You know, <laughs> that was a thought? heavy wank podcast. <laughs> oh, that, was very, that was about forty minutes of wank <laughs> talk. Like. Yeah, I'm fucking glad it was. It was <laughs> <hilarious>. <laughs> uh, John Devlin actually asked. Uh, oh, legend. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. Fucking ask James. <laughs> <laughs> Would he rather fight a bear-sized chicken or ten chicken-sized bears? Ten chicken-sized bears? Probably ten chicken-sized bears. That'd be adorable. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. A bear delicious sized McDonald's. Bear, yeah, a bear-sized chicken would fucking ruin fuck, your life. Yeah, oh, yeah. Claws at, claws at fuck I feel like, yeah, if chickens yeah. could kill us, the they, they would. fucking raptor, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. it's a dinosaur. It literally yeah. is a dinosaur. I'd fight with tiny wee bears. That'd be cute. Yeah. yeah. Like, like we build a bird kind of thing. Yeah, we, we, we saw me eating that chicken, but he saw me eating that. Fuck me, the meal plans be sorted for a fucking lock. Of weeks, oh man, but. that's like once since I re- or moved to Belfast, I've realised I have no idea how to take care of myself at all. Oh really? Like yeah. I'll go like twenty two hours not eat anything, Same, man, and know. then I'll go to Nando's and be like, give me the full check. I did that today. I ordered the full chicken at Nando's and just sat. And it was fucking really? Beautiful. Delightful. Jesus it was Christ. beautiful. Did you go by yourself. Oh yeah, I love a good fucking lonesome feed. I, I, I find it weird before comedy. Now that I'm doing comedy and you've like no other choice, yeah, I fucking love it, dude. I'm it's getting the best thing. Ever. I like uh, being alone a scary amount. No, it's oh, really? yeah. The more yeah. things I do alone, the more I'm like. Why do I even admit? I'm great crack. <laughs> I'm great crack. Yeah. I don't need those guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll go to the cinema. I'm not a wank on my own this week. It's yeah, exactly. crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Go on food by yourself. Class. Yeah. Sh- Shiting, wanking, and eating by yourself. Amazing. Yeah. Cinema as well. You could probably enjoy uh, that that's shit. That's one thing I still haven't done. I would fucking... I have done down to. Dude, yeah, anytime I'm like, I just want to just wee zone out there, just go to the cinema. Yeah. And yeah. just eat shit. Tons have of we in the place pod and pass there? I've got great a, Yeah, show. I have a fucking only pass as well. There's nothing on, though. It's fucking killers of the flower moon. I'm not sitting for three and a half hours Matt, watching fucking yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio grab his chest and type breathe, you know Matt, what I mean? I swear to God, I, we all watched it and, but like, made me a fair sleep, put it that way. But I thought it was brilliant, you know, very dialogue I, It kept me like, captivated and yeah, I really thought it, it would. It was enough yeah. to be like, well, I want to know what's happening, but I remember just being like, you know, a shot of Leonardo DiCaprio just heavy breathing. and I remember just thinking, Marty, you could have done with a few seconds less there, you know what I mean? I get it, I get it, he's in bad nick. You know what I mean? He's in bad tune, I get it. Like, even that, I, I think I was talking to you about it, that whole fucking, uh, did you watch that Don't Look Up? The one that came out on Netflix and there was like a massive cast in it. it was Don't like look up. What Jennifer Lawrence and all that. Oh, yeah. It was, it was about yes. the meteor hitting her. That's Earth, right. And the whole movie was just him grabbing his chest going, <laughs> having yeah. panic attacks. And I was like, what the fuck am I watching that's here? That's right. And man. then they all have a wee dinner and die at the end. I was like, mate, I'm fucking done with movies, man. Yeah. I yes. swear to God. But, and I love movies as well. Like, I would I would be a, a cinephile, like, but a fucking. The movies are ruining me recently. Yeah. I love, like, I love Martin Scorsese movies, but I, it's, I need to set a day aside for it. Like, you, Do you know? know what was the worst movie I've ever watched? The Irishman. Really? Yeah. yeah. Long as fuck as well. Yeah, like, man. Oh. I'm sure it was a great movie. Again, but it could have been 20 minutes. You know? Yeah, man. The only movie I've ever been in where like four people walked out. Cause really? Just, I think they just got to the point where they're just like, I cannot yeah, watch this like, same yeah. shit over and over yeah. again. I'm well bad for that. I'll like, literally leave half hour before a movie's over. Really? Like, I've seen enough. I get it. I'll just leave. <laughs> the Irishman is the one where the like, CGI'd <clears throat> going to get fucking to make whacked. him younger. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, but what's that? What, what didn't say about me there was like, you know, he bothers someone at the start and he's like, hobbling off. I'm like, it's just weird. Yeah. I mean, it was just so you can, you can tell he's just. It was a weird choice. Like, it was just like, yeah, the movie was him young for like 20 minutes and then three hours of just pilot old guys being really depressed yeah. and I said like, this is fucking sad like. but that's the thing I have one of them dodgy sticks like allegedly but uh, I have one of them <laughs> things but I man, I literally I don't know if it's pure Eddie Hasty I can't choose a film like see if you put a gun to my head and be like choose a film in 10 minutes I'll just pull the trigger yeah, yeah, we, like, we just have too much choice now man it's almost better to like just flick through the TV and a movie's on you're like oh watch this but, yeah, it's, but if, forced if you've seen it on Netflix you'd never, never pick it exactly. but you always enjoy it yeah. you're always yeah, like yeah. oh it was good but it, it, most films there's been very very rarely where I've watched a film and been like I didn't enjoy it I always take something out of it or remember a, 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 something I found funny or a good scene or you know yeah. whatever yeah. but uh, that's the problem you have too much choice like do you remember like going to school and being like oh I just watched The Simpsons last night or did you watch this episode last night whereas like some loser is just going to binge the whole thing and just spoil it for you the next day. Yeah, you know man. I mean? like, well, the mistake is gone. Basically. One of my favorite things was just in the evening opening the TV guide and being like, I'm going to watch that this week, that this yeah, week, that man. Wednesday, this Thursday. Yeah. And it, it was always funny because in school, any TV show that was coming up that had anything to do with sex, 
the whole school watching. Like, did you see that deck of TV last night? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Jam pennies. Uh, Sex atra. <laughs> mate. Did you? I didn't know anyone else knew about that. I I mean, sex that. You oh, that man. No, the, the sex ad for the TV show where they went to like. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, it was I amazing, that. man. Yeah, but yeah. the five minute preview was fucking. Oh, mate. I remember that was that was another like. <laughs> I really can't last. Full more circle. Than five minutes because <laughs> <laughs> that's ruined my fucking stamina. Like. Exactly, man. That was like the, my first experience with like weird porn because they used to do like all these photo shoots and it would be like vo- like them videoing the photo shoots and like the porn shoots and all blah blah blah, and it would be like like an alien with like tentacles you know like a big mm-hmm. physical person in a suit dressed as an alien and yeah. the tentacles going up the woman's blurt and all yeah. oh and yeah that, that fucked up my perception for life I thought porn was just oh yeah you like that uh, yeah, you, you know, like, see men in black being like where are they writing like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like on the book when's Will Smith going to get a cock out <laughs> Dude, I went to like Berlin and uh, they are very sex like completely oh, yeah. open with everything it's that's crazy like, that's like yeah. the whole thing with Germany their porn is like fucking it's not <laughs> dude there was this one street and it was like all the bars and it was like the entire street was just packed with people walking around in like leather yeah like jock straps fucking like dressed up like horses and shit yeah and then we were leaving one of the bars and like the bouncer was like oh you must come back this week or like this specific week and I was yeah. like oh why and he was like oh, it's going to be a big festival. He's like, we're going to have the leather people here. And he's like, the, these people are going to be here. And in the corner, we're going to have a pup play area. People dress up like dogs. Yeah. And just chill in the corner. Jesus. Pretend to be dogs. And I was like, <laughs> I have to Put that. them in a wiki. Yeah, the <laughs> leather people sounds vaguely racist too as well. <laughs> the leather people. So I've been in the sun too long. Yeah. The leather people. You're like, <laughs> I, I, I like oh, really? Like gimp suits and all? They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this somebody, I think it was, in, they were in Berlin, Berlin as well, but they've got this mad nightclub, I think it's called Kit Kat or something, I don't know what the fuck it is. Bergheim. There's the cra- there's a crazy one called Bergheim. Uh, re- really? Mm-hmm. But I was talking to someone, he was like, yeah man, I just went to this um, nightclub, and the, like it was like four boys and like, two girls, and they didn't let a couple of the boys in, because it was pure sausage fest and all, I was like, that's mm-hmm. weird for a start, and then oh, yeah. they ended up getting in, and he went to the bar to get a drink, and he said there was some boy literally just getting wore like a puppet beside him. You know oh I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Like, two people... boys standing beside each other, just like, are oh, you working away this weekend? Are you just pure Get fucking... Yeah, 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 that's the same as Burkham. Like, it's a club. It's like a club, but also like an S&M place. So people are just fucking and people are partying. And... Where's this place? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but to get in, the party Fist line... Fist did you say? The, the line is like a minimum of like four hours. Yeah. And by the time you get to the front, they then judge you. You go, ah, you don't look like our clientele. You're not getting in. So <sighs> we didn't even line up. We were only there for two days, so I was like, I don't want to spend like a whole day in exactly. the fucking Maybe not even get in. Like, yeah. You just get fucking killers of the floor moon up on your phone. <laughs> By the time it's over, I'll be <laughs> <laughs> right, no. I'll probably By the time it's over, we'll only have an hour left in this line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only weird experience I've had with some shit like that was just that, like, everyone goes through this rite of passage, but the red light district in Amsterdam yeah. Yeah. opened my eyes at how bored all them women are. Oh, man. You know? oh, they don't give a fuck. Man, it's, see, it's, it's the, like, literally them sitting on their phone, like, chewing chewing gum, and they're just like, and they'll, like, turn around and they'll go, they'll see you and they'll go, yeah, yeah, and then it's right. straight back down, straight back down to like fucking, you know. Mm. I'm like, we'll put a bit of fucking showmanship in there. Yeah, you know? yeah, they just don't care. Like, yeah. playing Candy Crush, like you know what I mean? Just yeah. so swallow a wee lolly Dinner or something. Taxes you know? or some shit. <laughs> like, yeah, mad. I don't I, think they do taxes. I, I, yeah, yeah. I went to Amsterdam fucking for the first time years ago, and I went with my mate, and he's colour blind. Like, and the way, the way he's got, like, we're in the green light district. <laughs> <laughs> but no way, there's blue, like the blue light district as well. Oh, like yeah, the, yeah. the transgender. Yes, like, right. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we didn't see. So I, I went and seen the blue lights, and I expect I knew it was coming. Like, so I, man, there was this fucking. This doll just standing there, I was fine, but my mate was just like, oh, fuck, boy, you know, imagine that. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't know. And then yes. she lifted her skirt up and had a cut, co- like, I mean, a monster. Yeah, those are the biggest cocks. <laughs> like, if I did that, everyone would be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you probably <laughs> still think it's a fanny. Like, oh, yeah. I know, why, why, why? It's such a waste, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if they're, if they're keeping it, like, you know, for enough, yeah. but like, you yeah, know what it's like? The, I'm like, bro, can we, like, swap? Like, yeah. can we transfer? You give me your 13 inch fucking, <laughs> you know, doesn't even match my skin to him. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I remember him just we were stoned out like we had edibles and all that like got there just smoking plants and all straight you're like away. mate I'm so stoned she looks like she's a cock <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I remember him running away up the street and running like, but he ran because it was just it was just sheer fear and he wasn't expecting it because he yeah. was all like licking his lips and all like you know and uh, it was fuck it she showed the, she showed the wang and he ran away and I went around the corner like stomach fucking busting from laughing yeah. there's these people like we were like don't go down there man do not go down there like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but See, it's I, fucking like, nuts like 
kind of curious though like not, oh, not, not, not even it. like a, like because we went and it was with you know it was with Abby so it wasn't yeah. really like a mm-hmm. you know we were like not really there for that whole side of the shit you yeah, know yeah, it's more fascination just to look at yeah, it yeah like, we were just like we might as well we're here you yeah, know yeah. so I, like but if I go again and I'm sure I will it's a fucking cheap ass holiday like you know. after what I've heard I'll be back <laughs> <laughs> yeah that blue light district yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be you stay outside <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in three to five minutes right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with the rest of the hour you know <laughs> <laughs> you to walk past hopefully, hopefully there's aliens hopefully there's aliens <laughs> I'd be like, does any of you have like a car magazine or anything I could like get get ratty with here? <laughs> I know. No, but uh, fuck it. I think I think we'll wrap it up after for like an hour and a half of fucking wank talk and yeah. you know, <laughs> sex talk. Hour and a half yeah. too short, if you ask me. <laughs> Honestly, I swear, I, I find it so funny. I love that sort of shit. <laughs> like, oh, it's it funny, like yeah. yeah. Pro- probably for a girl, they're like, oh my god, like no, no girls listen. That's all right. It's it's Abby and my aunties listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, so Abby be like, he ranted about this to me last week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, no lads, thank you very much for coming on. Thank, um, thank you. These are absolute legends, of course. And uh, have you anything to plug, James, or Terrace uh, Hotel? Just the Terrace. The next night's on 30th of November. I'm Headlined by it. Paul Curry on your own, aren't you? I am, yes. And I'm very excited for That'll it. That'll be good night. It's, a, it's like one of them gigs that like, everyone does. And then they go, mate, that was the best gig in my yeah, life. Yeah, it's really yeah. fucking good. Yeah, it's a yeah. good time. And uh, like the last one looked fucking fantastic as well. Uh-huh. Like, Adam, it was really Bur- good. Adam Byrne was telling me that it was like one of the best gigs. He had a ever. fucking cracker. Cracker yeah. set, like, um, yeah, it's like because the people in that area, that's like the only club they like. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like to see them going to Belfast, so they exactly. all come out yeah. every yeah. month. Like, I mean, the closest thing to them would probably be like fucking again because everything's in every other direction. It's mm-hmm. like Port Rush, you know, Derry, Strabon, fucking Oma. Yeah, you know, like shit like that. So it's like there's nothing there. Yeah, Same so with it's perfect. To be fair, but now. Pete Giffen's run the gig in Lurgan, so yeah, that, he didn't put me on. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, so that, uh, yeah, the Terrace Hotel, 30th, you said it was, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, if you're out that direction, it'll be a fucking class gig. I've never actually seen Paul Curry, have you? Or Yeah, I've seen him once. He's fucking, it's it's insane. Like, yeah, it feels like it's... No, I've seen it twice. Like, you'll push yourself. Like, it's oh, good. really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm fucking excited. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Like, it's yeah, crazy. Exactly. Yeah, but no, as I said, thank you for coming on, lads. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Also, uh, comedy at the Port Side Inn, 13th of December. We've got some fucking great acts on it. Rory Woods is headlining, and it'll be great. It's the Christmas special, so whoever wears the best Christmas jumper goes to the Blue Light District. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, take it easy. Woo! Bye.